Hundreds of people in Birmingham discovered this morning just what it would be like if the city came under attack from terrorists. Happily, it was only a training exercise designed to test how the emergency services would deal with a major attack. It was played out in real life and based on what would happen in the event of a chemical attack. Kevin Reed has more. Birmingham's International Convention Centre and an evacuation after a terrorist discharges poisonous gas in one of the halls. It's made to be as realistic as possible. Here, an actor feigns death. Others struggle to breathe. There's five inside on the floor. Yeah. Um, conscious, conscious, conscious. Conscious, I believe. The emergency services are called, and it's their response and that of the volunteers that's being carefully monitored. The whole aim is to make this exercise as realistic as possible. And there's a whole team of observers here, some from universities in the UK, others from security agencies across the EU. Isn't there a danger you could alarm people, like people walking past on Broad Street seeing what's going on? Yeah, we've done some extensive work around communication to give people advance notice where we can do uh, what's happening. We've, um, we've kept a, a strong communications all day. Uh, but I'll, the, the reassurance that I, that I must give is that these events are extremely, extremely rare. But because they're rare, it's really important that we exercise regularly to ensure that, we, that we're prepared for them, that we've got officers who are skilled and have got the right kit and the right training to deal with these things and keep our communities safe. What these resources are designed for is to do a mass decontamination of people. So if there is a contaminant, so say a gas has been released or an acid has been released, and what we can do is we can, can decontaminate and clean people up, and we can clean a lot of people up very quickly. It's all funded by the European Union, and the results will be analysed over the next few months. Then there are two further similar exercises in Poland and Sweden. Kevin Reed, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.